Hello guys, I'm back. Today, let's see the answer to the following question. Hello Jefferson, hope you're doing good. I am a process engineer at a polyethylene plant. I want to know what is the impact of a decrease in the suction pressure of a centrifugal compressor. My name is Jefferson Costa and I teach students, graduates and engineers how to work with chemical process engineering and plant design. Follow my profile and like this video to have hundreds of contents related to chemical process engineering and plant design. So let's verify some concepts to answer this question. The first thing is what, why we use a compressor in a process. A compressor is a equipment to build pressure in a gas or in a vapor. So in this way, we, we have the gas at a specific pressure and we add the equipment to build the pressure, to increase the pressure to the desired pressure at the discharge point. And the discharge point will consider the pressure drop in the pipelines, in the fittings, in the etc. So based on that, we as a chemical process engineers will do the calculations for the minimum head uh, needed or required for the compressor, for the for this service. For instance, if I have my source uh, available at 1 bar G and I need to deliver the, 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 the pressure, I need to deliver the stream at 10 bar G at the consumption and I have some distance from the discharge of the compressor, I will have some pressure drop, so eventually the discharge of my my compressor will be to will need to be 11 bar g so as i have 11 bar g and i have 1 bar g at the suction i have a uh, in, in a simple calculations i have 10 bar g of differential pressure between the discharge and the inlet so i convert that for head in in, in length i have the the required head for the compressor. So this is basically the most basic information that you must know about application of compressors. Of course there are too, too much more to be known but just to answer this question this is enough. So what happens when we decrease the, the pressure at the suction of a compressor if we consider that the discharge pressure must be constant? As the head of a compressor is the differential pressure between the discharge and the inlet, when I have a lower pressure at the inlet, it means that I will need a higher, a higher head in my compressor. And if you are familiar with uh, compressor curves, centrifugal compressor curves, as we have in the centrifugal pump curves, we have a uh, uh, behavior or we have a curve that usually is like this one. It's a curve that decreases as we increase the flow of the fluid. So we have the flow at the horizontal line and the head at the vertical line. So when we increase the head, it means that to achieve a higher head, I need to have or my compressor will be able to supply a lower flow. So in this way, as higher is the, as I increase the head of the compressor, I will decrease the flow through my compressor. And because I am decreasing the flow in my compressor, I will have less production. So this is one of the effects or one of the impacts of having a lower pressure in the suction of a centrifugal compressor. The same, is, uh, the same applies for a reciprocating compressor. As I have a lower, a lower pressure, I have less mass for the same volume, and because of that, I will have less mass flow in the, in the process. And that will lead to less production. Your company don't want less production because that will affect the KPI of your process. And the KPI can be, for instance, the tons of product by energy produced or etc. So another effect that you can have uh, based on that is that as you increase the head, you will have 
a higher discharge temperature at the discharge of your compressor because as the pre as the pressure ratio increases the differences the 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 increase in temperature increases so based on that eventually you will have some kind of effect in your cooling system and it should be evaluated if the reduction in flow compensates compensates the increase in temperature in order that you have your cooling system not affected by this uh, modification or for this disturbance let's do this way you can learn more about compressor selection taking a look in at this video that will appear to you right now so this is guys what i would like to share with you about the question that i received on my facebook fan page share this video with others students graduates and engineers to help them know more about chemical process engineering and plant design this is it i hope you like it and i'll see you soon in the next video Bye-bye.